Are you one of those highly productive achievers who can never seem to switch off from work? Do you find that the tasks that are incomplete, the emails that you haven't responded to, or the projects that are still lingering incomplete gnaw at you all weekend long? If so, today's session is going to be a life insanity saver, like it was for my friend, Mary. Mary, the wife of a friend of mine, Doug, Mary is a accomplished photographer, has a small photography firm with five employees, and she runs a brisk business. A while back, while on a couple's night uh, dinner out, I could see that Mary was distracted. I asked her, what was going on? Work, she said, exasperated. What about it, I asked. I still have all these open loops running in my head about the projects that I'm working on. Even though it's Saturday evening, and even though there's absolutely nothing I can do about any of them now, I'm still working on them in my head. That sounds maddening, I said, trying to reflect the look that I saw on her face. It is, she said firmly. I was at Alice's soccer game today. Alice is her daughter and Alice scored a goal, but I missed it entirely, she said. I was too busy reviewing my to-do list and working on a design problem that I had in my head. One of the other parents excitedly shook me shouting, she scored, she scored. Mary said, I looked for Alice on the field. Alice had saw my face and knew that I wasn't even paying attention and that I had missed it. Ouch, I said, trying to empathize, but probably not helping. Right, she said with a question. Just like last week at church, Mary continued. During the coffee social afterwards, a friend of mine asked my viewpoint on the sermon. I hadn't heard a single word. I spent the whole mask concocting an email that I had to write in my head. Her husband, Doug, chimed in at this point and said, yeah, she's always on her phone or her laptop, even when we're all together as a family watching a movie. This is when I said, hey, Mary, I know exactly how you feel. You are a conscientious professional. You don't want anything to fall through the cracks. You want to do excellent work for your clients and you're passionate about your work. I can relate. I've had the same problem. I can share with you how I solve the situation for myself if you're interested. She is, said Doug. I looked at Mary. Yes, please. She confirmed. I learned this when I used to wait tables as a teenager. It's called closing down the shop. At the end of the night, a sequence of things must happen to properly close the shop down. The cash register needs to be emptied, the kitchen completely cleared and cleaned, the chairs up on the tables, and every salt shaker and condiment bottle filled to the brim. Even though people were coming in not too many hours later, and it all had to be done all over again, they had to come into a fresh set and ready to go shop. Even though I don't run a restaurant or a shop, I instituted a standard closing sequence in my business as well. It's a simple three-step process. It takes less than five minutes, but will allow you to completely transition from empire builder to awesome mom, wife, parent, and friend, guilt and burden free. The three steps are this, box, clear, reset. The first one is box, review what's unfinished, identify the next step and put that next step on a sticky and put that on your computer monitor so that when you come in, on Monday, you know exactly what the first step is to get started. Number two is clear. Power it all down. Close everything. Clean your desk. Like a computer running needlessly, needless processes in the background, you have to do a hard shutdown on your work to release and liberate yourself for the weekend ahead. And then number three, reset. You gotta lift the lid. Clear out the frenetic energy. Take a few deep breaths, reset and refocus your brain and energetic body ready to engage in the other parts of your life. Okay, Darren Daly friends, tell us your closed down ritual in the comments below.